Virtually every well drilled requires casing and cement. Casing is steel pipe that the Franks International crew puts into the well bore. The casing prevents the hole from caving in and seals off formations. To do its job, though, the casing has to be cemented in place. A cement crew pumps cement down inside the casing and up the annulus. The cement hardens, or sets, to hold the casing in place. Casing is steel pipe that comes to the rig in individual joints. A Frank's casing crew couples the joints together to run them into the well bore. The length of individual joints used depends on the well owner's requirement and the physical requirements of the well. Casing also comes in different grades or strengths. Which strength is used depends on the well's construction. To run the casing, the Franks crew joins the joints of casing with threaded connections. We make up the casing joints with multi-speed power tongs. Power tongs not only screw the threaded connections together, but also apply the correct amount of torque. We use special heavy-duty elevators and large casing slips called spiders. By the time the crew drills the well to final depth, it usually has several strings of casing in it. These strings are called conductor casing, surface casing, intermediate casing, and production casing. Notice that the cased well looks something like a telescope pulled out to full length. As the drilling contractor drills the well deeper, the size of the hole and the size of the casing gets smaller in diameter. Almost always, the drilling contractor cannot begin drilling at the surface and go all the way to total depth in one step. For one thing, formations near the surface tend to crumble and cave in easily. So, conductor casing prevents cave-ins. Surface casing provides foundation for the wellbore structure. Just like building a house, a good foundation is the beginning of a solid structure. For another thing, Deep formations are sometimes called troublesome formations. That is, they can be drilled by adjusting the properties of the drilling mud, but once drilled, they need to be sealed off to prevent problems with drilling the deeper portions of the well. So intermediate casing seals off troublesome zones. Sometimes deep wells require more than one intermediate casing string. Finally, once the producing zone is drilled, it needs to be protected and sealed so production casing isolates the producing zones. The first string of casing is the conductor casing. The hole jetted for it is pretty big, often as much as 36 inches or more. The conductor hole has to start out pretty big because as drilling goes on, the hole's diameter decreases. Using a bit whose diameter is small enough to easily go inside the conductor casing, the rig drills the hole below the conductor to a prescribed depth. The diameter of the surface hole can still be relatively large, say 22 inches or more. The surface hole's depth is set by regulatory agencies. This depth could be from hundreds to thousands of feet. Normally, the BOPs connect to the surface casing at the wellhead, so this casing must be strong enough to support the BOP stack. In addition, it has to withstand the gas and the fluid pressures that the well may encounter. Surface casing also has to be strong enough to support the additional casing strings hung inside of it. To drill the intermediate hole, the operator chooses a still smaller in diameter bit, which easily fits inside the surface casing. A bit of about 18 inches in diameter is one example of the size. Intermediate casing is also cemented into place to seal off troublesome formations, like lost circulation zones or abnormally pressured zones. It is often the longest section of casing in the well. Therefore, it anchors the BOPs for the drilling that comes later. To drill to final depth below the intermediate casing, the rig owner selects a bit whose diameter is small enough to fit inside the intermediate casing. Additional intermediate casing string are run depending on wellbore design. Sometimes well owners run liners into the well. 
A liner is a shortened string of casing used to case the smaller open hole section below an existing casing string in the hole. It's just like casing, except a liner does not run all the way to the surface. Instead, the Franks casing crew hangs it from the bottom of a previously run casing or liner string using a special piece of equipment called a liner hanger. In this case, there is an intermediate liner and a production liner. Using liners saves money since they do not extend to the surface. Here's an overview of casing cemented into a well. Called primary cementing, the cement's main jobs are to completely isolate or totally seal off all of the oil, gas, and water zones from the well bore, and to bond the casing firmly to the wall of the hole. Here, the crew has drilled the well to the casing point, the depth at which they will set and cement casing. The driller circulates drilling mud to clean the hole and to make sure the mud is in good condition. Then the crew pulls the string out of the hole. This part of the hole penetrates the producing zone. When cemented in place, production casing seals off the producing zone and readies it for production. Production casing also houses and protects the tubing and other equipment used to produce the well. The operator usually perforates or puts holes in the casing when the well is completed or ready for work to begin. Well completion is the term describing the activities and methods of preparing the well for production of oil and gas. Oil and gas flow into the well through the perforations.